Hi, this is James Ardolino, your host to Gold Table Real Talk Podcast. Thanks for stopping by. We have an interesting subject here today, and I wanted to discuss a couple things with you. Um, the new Texas gun laws. So uh, let's go to the intro. When we get back, we'll discuss it. Hi, I'm James Ardolino, your host, and welcome to Gold Table Real Talk Podcast, where we'll discuss topics ranging from business to fitness and even lifestyle. So whether you're working, driving, or at home, you can hear real talk, real stories, and real advice. So sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy. Cheers. All right, guys, thanks for stopping by. Again, I'm James Ardolino, your host to Gold Table Real Talk Podcast. And uh, we have a, an interesting subject today. I wanted to discuss with you guys uh, the new Texas gun laws. Uh, they've now passed a gun law, uh, and it's in effect September 1st of 2021 this year, so a couple months away. Uh, if you're 21 or older, you need no training. You uh, just have to be 21, uh, not be convicted of any felonies, uh, you know, no problems with law or anything like that, and you're able to carry. Uh, I'm excited. I think it's great. I, uh, you know, I support the Second Amendment, but I still see that there's a little bit of a hitch here. And uh, I feel that while everybody should be able to own a gun, you should be able to shoot, you should be able to practice, have fun. Uh, it's a great sport to get into. Uh, it's actually therapeutic and relaxing at a certain point. However, if you decide that you want to carry a gun, and you decide that you want to so if you decide that you want to carry a gun and you want to protect yourself and protect other people i think that's great and i think that it's a a, a big responsibility at the same time and uh, since we're since we're kids we're taught you know point it in the right direction have enough training you know be careful of your surroundings who, who's around you when you're carrying um, and, and one thing I don't agree with, and the NRA has always pushed safety, safety, safety. I'm surprised that they actually were okay with all of this is fine, except for one part, that you can carry without training. I think that you need to be well trained, you need to be diverse <clears throat> in many different situations when you're carrying a firearm. I mean, at least if you're a, a, an ex-police officer, if you are military, um, whatever you are, you know that you have experience a little bit prior to maybe carrying that firearm I think with something like that the seriousness of it you should have some kind of training or some kind of experience when it comes to carrying a firearm okay uh, you have to have a driver's license in order to drive you have to have car insurance in order to drive the car to protect yourself and others people you know financially if something happens uh, if you need to get a lawyer I would hope that you want a lawyer that's licensed uh, doctors, they need to be licensed in the state that they're uh, practicing medicine in uh, before they do surgery. So I would think that you would want to be licensed and to be trained to know what you're doing. If it's in your own home, I can understand maybe no training. You know, maybe if it's in your vehicle, if it's in your, they did pass the law, you know, it's an extension of your home. It's like the castle law, I guess, to where you can carry it if you're traveling. Uh, in Texas or through Texas, I believe you're allowed to bring your firearm in the hotel or the motel room. That's cool. That's great. But when it comes to a robbery, let's say, and you have a gun and you're trying to protect somebody, you need to really know what you're doing and what you're about ready to do. Because if you make a mistake and you kill somebody, you're going to want a lawyer that's licensed probably. But uh, I do, I do, you know, it's a short video. We're going to kind of leave it at that you know we're not going to get too long-winded with it so i do support the second amendment i want to get that straight but i do believe people should be they need to have some training behind them before they carry a gun stick it in a holster and call it a day uh, it's a huge responsibility when you go out at night and you want to have a beer i don't suggest you have a beer and drive with that firearm in that vehicle because if a situation does occur and you have to use that firearm even if you don't it can be kind of questionable. It's not that good. Uh, if you do use the gun and you're trying to protect someone, but you kill two innocent people, you're, you might end up in a legal problem, a legal situation. And then you have to live with killing two innocent people because you weren't trained. So I think there's a lot that, that 
this industry still needs to work on and still needs to work out. I do support the fact that we should be able to carry, should be able to carry in your vehicles. Uh, you should be able to have one in your home for self-protection. But when you're carrying in a public place, when you're carrying, uh, you know, if you're in a grocery store or you're stopping at a liquor store or a convenience store, you need to really have the responsibility. You have to feel very comfortable in knowing the firearm that you're carrying and what you're about ready to do and how you're going to use it. And maybe, even if you drew it, you may not have to use it. And so with experience, I guess that comes, or, or that I should say that comes with experience for police, military, uh, even some branches of the military. Um, I've, I've trained with a lot of them and, and I hate to say like, they're not all good when it comes to using firearms. Marines are great. A lot of army is great. Navy is so-so. I was actually ex-Navy. Uh, Coast Guard can be very good. Uh, then there's a lot of people that have office jobs every day you know, they qualify once a year, and that's good, at least they have a basic knowledge, okay? But to not, um, to just say I've never trained, you work in a restaurant or you work in a, you know, I, I don't know, a feed store or, you know, you work in a movie theater or whatever, you think you see a gun, it's cool, oh, I want a Glock 19, everybody's got it. I'm going to put some, you know, Talon whatever grips on, I'm going to do whatever I want. I'll make it look cool, I'm going to carry this and I'm going to protect myself. And you've never shot a gun, or maybe you've shot one clip worth, and you're going to go out there and try to protect yourself or someone else. It's going to end up pretty badly. But anyways, I've been in the industry for years. We do, uh, 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 we had contracted to make actually the original Dirty Harry shoulder holster, who uh, uh, my dad uh, came up with the VEC system and is able to uh, fit any handgun in the world, Jerry Ardolino. Uh, so we give, give a shout out to him. Uh, uh, my company, Rufiano International, we not only do that, we also do fitness apparel, uh, but we also make, uh, uh, are contracted sometimes to make every, uh, holsters for every handgun in the world. Uh, actually right here I have a, if I can get to it, this is a original Dirty Harry shoulder holster, worn, uh, uh, that Clint Eastwood wore in a movie. And uh, I actually made this one myself, it's actually for a customer, I have my personal Model 29 in it right now. But uh, I have to say, the workmanship, the craftsmanship is superb. Uh, out of the history of the company, in order of a quarter of a million holsters, over a quarter of a million, just for the Model 29 six and a half inch barrel, we've had four returns in literally almost 55 years. So uh, they're great shoulder holsters. Uh, they're a transferable lifetime warranty. Uh, like I said, I also sell the fitness apparel. I am also uh, a authorized dealer uh, and distributor for not only these holsters, the original Dirty Harry, but uh, uh, J.M. Buckheimer and Buckheimer Clark holsters as well. Uh, you can find those on our website. Uh, I also have, um, I'm gonna get this a little closer, maybe the camera, hopefully that camera autofocuses in on that, all right? Uh, we also have, I have a line that's called the STU, it's the Severe Tactical Use Shoulder Holster. And uh, if you uh, uh, are into more of a hardcore training, uh, not worrying about, you know, you don't want to get scratches in the leather, you don't want to worry about it. Uh, we don't deal with plastic, this company. If you want plastic, I mean, we, we, we might be doing something later in the future, we don't really know yet. It's not something I'm crazy about. I, I think of a plastic holster like when I was a kid, you go to Toys R Us with your mom, you're playing Cowboys and Indians, and you look at all these holsters and these, you know, guns, and it comes with a plastic holster. It's kind of how I feel about plastic. I understand it's just a tool, but, uh, you know, the, the better you treat your tools, the better they're going to serve you when you need them for the job, right? So, leather has always served me well. I've been training for years. I've trained with Special Forces. I've trained with police, ex-police. I've trained, I've sold, I've made holsters for literally every special operations group all over the world. Uh, over 30 countries I've sold to. Uh, you know, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a great holster. The SCU is a great holster. It's the Severe Tactical U Shoulder Holster. That also can be made for any handgun in the world, whether it's a revolver or an automatic. Uh, they're coming out with a lot of classics. So, you know, if anybody out there, you know, wants something, they want to carry a big bore, uh, anything, you know, five and a half, six, six and a half inches and over, maybe for hunting, hog hunting. A lot of these shoulder holsters have been used for that. Uh, I'm going to drop a link in the description. 
if if you if you see that link in the description and you click there's going to be a code in that description i want you to use that code and you're going to go ahead and you're going to get 10 percent off so even if there's a sale price which there is right now we're having a sale on everything and we're doing free shipping uh, if you hit the discount code you're going to get an additional 10 percent off of that sale and the free shipping that's a good deal you can't beat that we also have some uh, stu right here Severe tackle use, ghost grips, pistol grip wraps, no fingerprints left behind. That's uh, by uh, another company of mine, Rufiano International Arms Accessories. The name of the website is rufianointernational.com. But uh, the ghost grips is a great product. Uh, it's one of the best, uh, you know, gun, sandpaper, grip wrap, pistol wrap, grip tape, whatever you want to call it. It's one of the best on the market. I've had mine on my gun in humidity, in rain. I'm here in Texas. We do a lot of stuff. I use the gun while I'm fitting holsters like daily uh, on multiple different guns, multiple different holsters. I've never had any problems whatsoever. But uh, but anyways, stop by, see us if you want a holster. I'll also put the phone number. The phone number's on the website. You're, you know, We talk to all our customers. We'll take all, our, all your calls. We will do whatever you want custom. Uh, if you want black with red suede, red stitching, we'll do it. If you want blue and green and orange leather, we'll do it. Whatever color you want, we can do. Uh, we do fit any handgun in the world, like I said, which uh, is, is very rare to find in a holster company, uh, as, as well as the original Dirty Harry shoulder holsters. You know, that line will fit any handgun in the world, any caliber, barrel length, make, it doesn't matter. Um, and, and I mean, same thing goes for the Buckheimer line, also the Buckheimer Clark holster line. Um, so, uh, you know, w w when you do business with us, you're doing business with people that have been involved in it for years and years and years. I mean, we're not talking 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. We're talking 50 plus years. Uh, we're not a newbie company. We know what we're doing. We pride ourselves on the craftsmanship. Sometimes it does take a little longer, but that's what you're paying for. You're paying for real craftsmanship. You're paying for uh, holsters that are going to work in any situation, that are going to hold that gun, and that are going to secure that gun. And, uh, you, you know, I, I, I'm just going to come out and say it. You know, people in this company, we've used guns and we've carried guns in these holsters, and they work, and they're comfortable. It's one of the most comfortable shoulder holsters in the world. So, um, yeah, uh, hit us up on there. Check us out. Like I said, 10% off, whether it's a sale price or not. Right now it is on sale, a lot of the holsters, and it's free shipping. You still get 10% knocked off that. That's a great deal. Right now you're looking at saving a lot of money by doing that. But, yeah, you know, to go back to the law, I really do think that people need training. Um, I think that they need to, to, you know, they need to understand what the recoil is. Uh, they, they need to understand uh, what kind of gun to carry and what's going to suit them. Uh, a lot of people I know, they're, they are Glock crazy. And I can tell you from experience, this is one of my personal ones right here, actually. Uh, it's the first, the first Smith & Wesson Shield that came out, 9mm, over a Glock 43 any day. That's just per, personal preference for me. I think it's one of the best subcompact carry guns out there. I do like SIG, but when it dropped and one went off, I just decided I'd rather not do it. At that point, it would be a collector's item, and uh, a SIG 365 isn't something I really wish to collect. But um, you know, uh, one of the best one of the best guns I think in the world is a revolver. Uh, no matter what, all you got to do is squeeze the trigger, and another round will go off if if you do get it done. Um, but there's there's a lot to there's a lot to know when when training with a firearm, and there's even more to know when you are trying to protect your life or other people's life. And, you know, there's chaos, there's noise, there's cars, you know, there could be any situation somebody can bump into you. Um, you know, you, you have to be able to evaluate all that within a maybe one second and know that the shooting that you're going to do is a good shooting um, and not hurt other people around you. And if you, if you have to just try and say, oh, well, I'm just going to try, let's see what happens. That's not a good situation. You need to know that for the most part, you're not always going to know for sure, obviously, but at a certain point, you need to feel comfortable and know that, you know, you're not going to hurt anybody else, an innocent bystander. So um, with that, I am pro, I am, I am pro guns. I am for the Second Amendment. I'm glad that Texas uh, got this new law passed. 
I think it's going to be a, uh, uh, an interesting, uh, some interesting times coming ahead. But uh, it is pretty cool. Um, you know, that's, that's about all I have to say on it. If you are, if you do live in Texas and you do plan on carrying it, or wherever you decide, you know, wherever you live, wherever you decide to carry, whenever you decide to carry, be safe when you're doing it. Get out there and just train a little bit. Train from somebody reputable, ex-cop, uh, you know, anybody that's ex-military, military police, even a retired police officer, they're the best. I mean, they're around guns all day long. They have to carry a gun. Um, even your NRA, uh, I guess NRA certified instructors, they have a lot of these gun ranges and, um, you know, they're there for a reason. So even though the law, that's the law, you still have a responsibility, even though that law was passed that you can carry without training, you still have a responsibility to yourself and everybody else around you to know that you're going to do a good job if and when you do have to use that. My tips are don't drink and carry that gun on you. Even if it's in a vehicle, I would leave it at home. I see a lot of people doing that, it's no good. And uh, just get training, just get training. Um, you know, you can't always carry the gun everywhere. So you're gonna have to just uh, use your eyes and look around and try to remove yourself from any situation that you think is going to be a problem in the first place. And, and really knowing your surroundings, you're probably going to do a pretty good job. If you do that, you're probably never going to have to pull that gun. Probably. Let's hope you don't have to. But if you do, get training, enjoy it, have fun. Again, if you need any kind of leather work, you need any shoulder holsters, custom tactical belts for your gear, uh, we do everything for, you know, mag pull for seven, uh, 7.62 by 39 the AK rounds uh, we do custom uh, magazine pouches for that custom magazines for AR-15 uh, not a huge fan of all that um, I do like the AK better I, I think I'm more of an AK guy than, than an AR uh, there's just something that feels a little bit more real when I hold that gun um, or that rifle I should say but uh, we, we do custom slings we have a gentleman right now out of Austin Texas and we're doing a couple custom slings for him uh, one's going to be an STU line and one is just the Rufiano International Arms Accessories line. So if you have any, any needs for anything like that, also fitness apparel, uh, we're going to be getting into some more videos on fitness and then uh, I guess you could say more of internal health. Uh, there's a lot of people you see out there, uh, they're doing fitness, but yeah, they might look fit, they might not be that great on the inside. We want you to be good all the way around. So uh, we got videos coming up with that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I look forward to uh, uh, getting back on here and doing another video for you guys real soon. I'm sorry about the delay in the video, but you know, we're making a lot of holsters over here. So uh, you guys take it easy. Thanks for stopping by. Again, I'm your host, James Arlino. This is Go Table Real Talk Podcast. Go out there. Be safe. Go shoot. Have fun. Take care, guys.